this is Claudia here from the Bookkeeping Experts. We're back for more with more instructions on how to use QuickBooks Online. Today we're going to cover a very important part of QuickBooks Online is when you make a mistake and categorize transactions the wrong way, how do I recategorize that? Okay, so we're going to go and we're going to do that for the not the accountant view, but from the customer view, from, from the business owner view. And of course, accountants do have extra tools to reclassify in a more efficient way, but uh, we're assuming here that you don't have those tools. Okay, so without much further ado, we are going to QuickBooks Online. There it is. I'm gonna maximize this page here. And um, the one, one way you can recategorize is by bringing the profit and loss so let's suppose that the, the transaction that you need to recategorize is on the profit and loss. So we're, we're viewing that from the perspective of recategorizing from the profit and loss. So what you're going to do, you're going to click on reports. On the left hand side, this is the account view by the way. Like you, I mentioned before in other videos, you click on the gear menu if you want to switch. And on the bottom right hand side, you can switch back and forth. Okay, so we are going to the profit and loss, and I'm going to put this year to date, and I'm looking through my reports, and I see a negative amount, or let's see, uh, I see something that, oh, oh oops, I, that's not the right one, so let's take a look at that. Um, let's suppose that... Job expense is supposed to be uh, job materials, okay? So the first thing you want to do, you, you want to click on the number on the profit and loss. And this is going to open up all transactions with that categorization, okay? And when it opens up, you just click on each transaction individually. So the 10809, you can click right over there and uh, we want job supplies job materials so i can just change it from right here okay and and then save and close all right and then when i uh, open up my uh, profit and loss i'm going to refresh it Oh. I'm going to run report again and we still have one more transaction so I'm, I'm just going to click over here again and I'm going to click on that one missing transaction And I'm just going to type job. It's supposed to be job materials, not supplies. And save and close. Okay. And if I go back, now I'm using multiple tabs. Okay. I love to use multiple tabs because I can, I can do multiple things at the same time. So we're going to go back to report. Run it again. It should be all gone. Um, yep. Sure enough. We still have that job material right over here. So okay. If I click over here. So I click on the number and I'll be able to change it. Change it to where it needs to be. So in this case it is job material. Alright. So just click over here so this is right so it is job materials but you can change pretty much anything so let's suppose that let's see something else that might be incorrect uh, so we don't have any more job expense just job materials um, let's say okay meals and entertainment um, this one needs to be renamed, by the way, because entertainment is no longer a deduction, so you'd have to rename it in, in, in your chart of accounts. 
Um, okay, let's see. Okay, there you go. Miscellaneous. I have a ton of transactions here from miscellaneous. And keep in mind that miscellaneous expense doesn't really mean anything. So you have to find the right place for those transactions. So if you click again on miscellaneous expense, it's going to open up all the transactions that needs to be uh, recategorized. So I can click on the first one and we can go ahead and rename it. So let's say Hicks Hardware. Suppose it's job uh, materials. Okay. Gonna go back here again. Now we're gonna go to the next one for $250. And okay, this one is the one that I already recategorized, right? Okay. We're going to refresh this. Let's go to the next one, 666. I'm going to type here, job materials, save and close. Okay. And now we're going to go to the one for $2,000. And that is insurance agency. So it's insurance, business insurance. Okay, all right, there you go. So now I'm gonna refresh my page. When I come back here, it's still here. But if I click on back to reports, because I'm on a different tab and run report again, okay, should have no more miscellaneous. Yep, no more miscellaneous. Okay, so uh, that's one way for you to recategorize right from the profit and loss there's different ways for you to do it as well uh, another way for you to do it is just go straight into the vendor and recategorize according to the vendor so if you click on expense and then vendors and let's suppose i will select uh, boschman insurance or oh let's see this one, Diego's, there's only one transaction, right? But let's suppose that this is not supposed to be, this is suppose what it's supposed to be. <laughs> but let's suppose it's not. <laughs> Just make pretend. Okay, so let's, let's suppose that this is office expense. You can actually just from here, just change it. You don't even have to open up the transaction and change it right from here. And it's changed. I'm going to change it back. This is a simple account, but I just think that repair and maintenance makes more sense in this, this case. Okay. There you go. So you just click on the vendor, go into the vendor activities, and then you can recategorize. Let me take a look at this one. There's multiple over here. And in this case, you know, let's suppose that what if it is something else? What if it is... Um, so this is accountant. What is what if it is supposed to be attorneys? Uh, legal. I'm not attorney. Legal. Let's see. Yep. Lawyer. Okay. okay. Here it is. Lawyer. And there it is. Okay. I didn't even open the transaction. I just click on uh went to vendors uh, click on category right here and just change it from there there's different ways for you to recategorize so but those are the two simple way um if you are a bookkeeper or an accountant you will have different tools okay and those tools are located on the accountant tools you'd click here reclassify transaction and uh, if the account belongs to the profit and loss, you want to put the profit and loss here. And let's suppose that um, advertising is what I'm looking for. You can change the date. Keep in mind that this is just a few trans, uh, you know, it's just for the month. It's just not going to bring all the dates. So you can change the beginning date right over here and find transaction 
there's only one because this is just a sample account, right? Let's say um, job materials. Okay. And let's suppose that this one is not supposed to be a job material. You can, let's suppose you have a hundred transactions. You can select all of them and then click on reclassify and then you'll be able to change that. You, you'll also be able to change uh, not just the, let's suppose that equipment rental, apply, and then I changed it. Uh, you will you will be able to change class as well if you do use class you will be able to change class here and in this case it's not turned on so you're not going to be able to see that so this is for accountants and bookkeepers when you do have access to your client's book as an accountant or bookkeeper so that's the importance of doing that if not you're just going to have to do it manually like we did the other ones right so you can do it through vendors you can do it through um, profit and loss you can also do it through expense you can go into a specific um, expense and then just reclassify that accordingly uh, but I actually prefer the profit and loss and just put the date that you're looking for that's a very efficient way to do it uh, and also going to the vendor's name that that is even more efficient because you don't even have to open up those transactions okay and if you are an accountant bookkeeper you have access to your clients book through the accountant tools and you can click on those reclassify and do it as a batch transaction as well so that's the advantage of uh, having access as a bookkeeper or accountant all right here we go back here okay i'm back yeah <laughs> okay i hope that this was helpful and that you will be able to get this information to bring your book up to date but if you need some extra help uh you can hire us for a one-on-one -on -one, uh tutorial just uh contact us our contact is going to be down below um, and we'll be happy to help you. If you want somebody to catch, you know, do the cleanup and catch up work, we can do that as well and then teach you the workflow so you're, you're not going to fall into the same mistakes and you will know how to, to continue doing or keeping up with your books uh, in a way that is reliable. You can go take a look and see how you're doing financially and set your goals and um, set have your point of reference so you can move forward you can take your business to the next level thank you so much for spending this time with me i really appreciate you watching me every week now if you if you like this video and you're not subscribed yet click on that button subscribe 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 and we'll come come back every week with different information on how to use quickbooks how to clean up masses how to bring it up to date and and how to integrate with uh, with apps how to clean up those integrations and so on and so forth so you want to stay up to date click on that button subscribe if you like this video give us a thumbs up give us some love let us know you like it <laughs> okay so we'll be back next week with more and until next time Keep on smiling.